What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Wait, wait, I need something from you. Am I looking tan? That golden brown baby, that sweet caramel. For those of you wondering, my vacation was crazy. We missed the cruise ship. Nothing went as planned, but ended up being one of the best cases of the bad. Ended up being one of the best vacations of my life. So it just goes to show your mindset is everything. Anyways, guys, today I got one heck of a video for you. Summer is fast approaching. You might be watching this on 4th of July. That's tomorrow. You might've just got done eating three hot dogs, two cheeseburgers, and you couldn't step away from the buffalo dip. Hey, we've all been there, but now you're scrambling. Whoa, whoa. You got a vacation in a month and you are holding on to hot dogs. You got a cheeseburger flat tire. You got a buffalo chicken double chin. I get it. So you need to lose as much weight as you can in 30 days. And that is what this video is for. I'm gonna give you guys a full meal plan broken down meal by meal, step by step. We're even gonna cook the food. That way after this video, you literally got everything you need to succeed. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Don't forget Final Boss Performance has a sale going on right now. If you're watching this on the 4th, so check it out, finalbossperformance.com. Without further ado, let's get into the dang thing, baby. You guys ready? Let's do it. Holy Heavenly Father, look at all this food. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of some of the stuff we're gonna be eating on this program. That way you can get a rough idea before we start breaking it down and cooking it. This is basically everything you're gonna need. So let's start with some proteins, baby. In this brown bag, no, this ain't a 40 ounce of malt. This is tilapia, farm raised, farm raised. You letting them graze in the pastures, are you? I don't trust it. You'll see what it looks like in here later. We got flank steak, baby, and this is the leanest cut of steak you can have. This is skirt steak. The least amount of fat, the most amount of protein. It's a little more pricey, but I'm telling you. The goal with this program, keep protein protein high, the more protein you have, the more thermogenic your body is, the more muscle you can build, and the more fat you're gonna burn. So that's why we're sticking with really lean protein sources here. Tilapia being probably the leanest protein source you can get, besides maybe liquid egg whites. You're also gonna need some colonial white man oats. Behind that powdered wig lies some sinister secrets. Yeah, we're gonna be eating oatmeal too. Oatmeal is a great carb source, high in fiber, really fills you up, easy and cheap, can't beat it. We will be doing a shake at one point, so you're gonna need yourself a lean protein. Rule one is by far my best tasting, I think, and the best macros of protein you can get. It's an isolate, and there's no lactose in it, so if you're sensitive to dairy and you're worried about like a pimple or two, holding water weight, turning into a sea cow, and get this, it's great. Salted caramel for the win. We got some asparagus spears. Now, the reason, like I said, kind of like with this, we want the leanest protein source we can get. We also want the leanest, most nutritious vegetable we can get, which asparagus is gonna have the least amount of carbs, the highest amount of fiber, and it's gonna fill you up the most and just be really good for you. There's a reason why when people go into contest prep for bodybuilding shows, where they're trying to be lean, male and female, you're eating a lot of fish, a lot of asparagus. Those bathrooms at the Arnold Classic smell like a horse stall. We're also gonna be doing liquid egg whites. I prefer them in these containers. About two bucks for one of these, we get 50 grams of protein in this bad boy. Once again, lean protein source. You're seeing a trend here. You can obviously split the eggs, remove the yolks, yada, but to me, that takes too long. Trying to keep it fast and simple, baby. Got some unsweetened almond milk too for our shake. I buy these little guys. They're a little more, but you don't got to worry about it going bad. You ever do the smell test on a big carton of milk? Like, nope, ain't happening. Yeah, I don't like to do that. So these are always going to stay good. Just leave them in there. We're also going to have some brown rice. Compared to white rice, we're going to have more fiber here. More nutrition is going to be more filling overall. One thing when you're on a significant calorie deficit, you want your micronutrients to be as high as they can, which is your vitamins, minerals, and all that stuff, because your body's going to be starving. So you really want to make sure you're giving it the maximum amount of nutrition if you want to be happy while you're dieting. You ever tried to just do a crash diet and you feel like crap? Probably right, because you don't got a lot of nutritious stuff in there. We're also going to have some sweet potatoes. It's a carb source, way better than white potatoes. Once again, more micronutrients, more fiber, all that good stuff. Extra virgin coconut oil. I prefer my coconut oil to not online date. So yeah, really good fast source here. Going to need you some almonds. I'm doing wasabi and soy sauce because I think they taste really good. I like me some wasabi nuts, but you can really do whatever almonds you want for this one. And then some fresh frozen blueberries, because once again, we want all the micronutrients we can get. And these are going to make you feel really good, full of antioxidants, hope you recover a little faster, all that good stuff. So that's what we got here. Let's get this started with meal one. Meal one. First meal of the day is going to be a shake. It's not only going to be convenient, but it's going to get us jump started for the day with about 50 grams of protein, some carbs, some fiber, some micronutrients to make you feel good, and some of that sweet, sweet almond milk. You ever milked an almond? You can ask my ex about that one. going to need you a little blender here. I'm a big fan of this oyster brand. I tried clam once. Wasn't a fan. So I'm going to go ahead for each meal. I'll put a little graphic on the screen. You can see exactly what's in it. And let's go ahead and get to blending. First things first, let's add our blues. Love me some blues. All right. Oh, boom. Oh, I sent a couple rolling. Look at them sweet, sweet blues. And then we're going to do the almond milk. That way the protein doesn't like stick down in there. It's just, it's better to do it this way. I'm telling you, it's better. Good, 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 good. All right. Then we want two scoops of our protein. Boom and boom. And then just add a little more liquid to it. We're going to add a 
tiny bit of water to fill it to the top. Got him. If you guys hear any noise, that's the people mowing my lawn. I swear they time their mowing schedule with when I shoot video. I tried to trick them once. Started filming at midnight. Right as I hit record, I hear the trailer rolling up outside. I walk out, I'm like, guys! I'm like what? Long story short, I don't trust them. Attach the top to the oyster. Now let's get in here and blend. Yeah! You wanna give her a few spins to make sure she's good. And then once she's blended, I like to transfer her over to a trusty shaker. The only shaker I trust in this industry is the Final Boss Performance Shaker. Dump her in, and look at that. I'm telling you, this, this is like an amazing shake. It tastes so good. Perfect way to start the morning. Ooh, boom. So right here is your meal one. This is gonna have 314 calories, three grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, and 24 grams of carbs with lots of fiber. Perfect way to get your day started. Tons of protein in there. It tastes really good too, so it's like a treat first thing. Now, later on in the video, I will put a sample meal plan schedule now so you can see like what times you should be eating all your meals but really all that matters is that you get it all in over the course of a day but that's meal one let's move on to meal two so meal two we're going to be having the food that's going to make all of your co-workers hate you if there's anybody there you don't like all you got to do is bring this into work and microwave it in the break room they're going to want to kill you so we have 10 ounces of tilapia we're going to have four ounces of sweet potato and four ounces of asparagus which i already threw in the microwave in that steam bag you guys saw earlier that's easy we do got to cook this and then as far as our potato goes it's actually in this rice cooker steaming as we speak these are super convenient by the way I got a link in my description if you want a good one But this makes cooking veggies a snap. Let's get to the tilapia So cooking tilapia or cooking any protein is actually gonna be really easy. They're all gonna be about the same Get you a big pan. I prefer one with the sides on it so nothing splashes up you Need a little cooking spray and a little bit of patience and you're in there If you got people living with you make sure you tell them sorry before you start cooking fish because your whole house is gonna smell like the chum bucket Hit it real quick and then since we're doing 10 ounces of tilapia each of these fillets is roughly five ounces We're just gonna sit them in here let the magic happen and voila boom boom that's what 10 ounces of cod looks like ladies and gentlemen and here we go our sweet potatoes finished steaming we got meal two ready to go in this meal we have 384 calories only six grams of fat 30 grams of carbs and 54 grams of protein when you're trying to lose weight fast you want protein from lean sources and you want your fat to be as low as possible without being too low so you don't have any hormonal imbalances the more protein you eat the more thermogenic your body becomes your body actually burns more calories breaking down a gram of protein than it does a gram of carbs or a gram of fat. It's also great for anabolism, which is going to help you build more muscle. Studies have shown someone that eats a higher protein diet than someone does not, and they both don't train at all. The one with the higher protein diet has more muscle mass than the one that doesn't. Who knew? So that is going to be meal two in this program. Let's hop into meal three. Now, before we move on to the next meal, I do want to clarify these macros, everything I've kind of broken down fits really well for my body type. 5'10", I train five days a week, 28 years old, and I'm pretty sedentary minus my training. So the macros in this program, the food quantities, everything is kind of broken down for me. Not that it won't be a good starting point. It won't work for a lot of you guys out there. But if you want the perfect plan for you with your macros broken down from foods you choose, maybe you don't like fish. Maybe blueberries give you the eebie-jeebies. And check out RemingtonJamesFitness.com. You can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I can be your personal trainer. I can make you a meal plan, tell you exactly what to eat, when to eat it, how to train, and everything. So keep that in mind moving forward. Let's move on. And in meal three, we got the dreaded liquid egg whites and coconut oil meal. We're going to be using this in sire container here because it's got 50 grams of protein. And we're going to be using 14 grams of coconut oil or one tablespoon, which is gonna give us the healthy fats that we need, the MCTs, the medium chain triglycerides, you know. Because like I said, the goal here is to have our fat high enough so we're not affecting ourselves negatively by cutting out fat completely. If you want just enough to where testosterone production isn't affected, you're not getting real cloudy thoughts, you wanna make sure your brain's working good. Fat is what fuels the brain. So this here is instant brain fuel. Let's get to making an omelet. Pretty simple yet again. Just grab your cooking spray and get to it. Boom, boom, boom. You want a good coating here so it doesn't stick. And Woo! And then add in your coconut oil. Got it. Pro tip, if you want it to cook all the way through faster, put a lid on it. Just a pro tip. All right, I may have needed a bigger Tupperware container. Do not fall apart on me. Woo! Ah, bam, baby. Lo and behold, meal three. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably think egg whites aren't that good, but they're just, I mean, they're all right. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. They ain't that good. They're actually not good at all. But you put some like sugar-free barbecue sauce on this or something. A little bit of a sauce, some salt, some pepper. Power through it like a warrior. It's gonna be beneficial, I promise. Promise. We got 14 grams of fat from that coconut oil, 50 grams of protein, and 10 grams of carbs. Carbs are coming from the egg whites. Somehow there's uh, carbs in egg whites. I don't know. It's what the container says, so we're going to add it in just to be safe. Another great filling meal. Once again, we're getting about 50 grams of protein per meal, so we're going to chalk that as a win. Let's move to meal 
four. Hey, does this look familiar? I went ahead earlier and cooked up the other two five ounce tilapia fillets for meal four. So it's gonna be very similar to meal two, but the difference is gonna be that now we have some brown rice here. I'm a firm believer if you're really trying to cut diversifying your food groups as much as possible, it's really beneficial. You're gonna get different micronutrients and vitamins from this. And you're also gonna get different micronutrients from this. Like I said, diversify your food groups. You're gonna feel better overall. But once again, we got 10 ounces tilapia, four ounces brown rice and four ounces of asparagus with a macro total of seven grams of fat, 55 grams of protein and 28 grams of carbs. So that's at our fourth meal. Now let's move on to the fifth. So meal five, I went ahead and cut up all of our flank steak. We won't be using all of this, so I'll save some of it for later. But we do need 10 ounces of flank steak again. We're also gonna have one cup of oatmeal or 80 grams. I already added the water because that's a quick little couple minutes in the microwave. Then we do one ounce of almonds too. As you can see, our final meal is also our biggest and I'll explain why that is here in a second. But now let's get to cooking. Same deal as before, cooking spray, drop her in. And boom, here we go. Yep, and that is flank steak, ladies and gentlemen. And this is meal five, 10 ounces of flank steak, cup of oatmeal, one ounce of almonds. Now I said earlier why we keep our biggest meal for the end of the day. And for me personally, I find that I do best when I go to sleep full. So to eat a fattier meat like flank steak, some almonds, which are gonna have their own micronutrients, fiber, and some healthy fats in there as well. And then a whole cup of oatmeal is gonna leave me feeling full and I'm not gonna go to sleep hungry. I have this to digest all night and when I wake up, in the morning, I'm not completely starving and I'm ready for my shake and I get the ball rolling again. In this meal, we have 730 calories, 33 grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, and 60 grams of carbs. Let's see what it all looks like together. So check it out. You're going to start your day with meal one and I'll put a little sample diet schedule on the screen right here if you want a rough idea of when you should be eating these. And if you wake up earlier, you wake up later, whatever, just kind of follow the rule of thumb that I have with time frames between meals and you'll be good to go. So you start with the shake. Meal two, you're going to upset everybody you work with, but you're going to feel and look great. Great. So that's all that matters. You're gonna you're gonna upset them twice because you're losing weight, getting sexy, making the place smell like fish. Meal three, you're gonna have some egg whites, pure protein, and some healthy fats to keep you chugging right along. Meal four, we're eating fish again. So if you're working a long shift, boy, your coworkers are gonna have pitchforks and knives. Hopefully not tiki torches. And then meal five, we're gonna have our ten ounces of flank steak with some oatmeal, some almonds, to end the day off right. And now that we know it's in each meal, let's go ahead and break down the entire plan. In this entire program, we have 2,190 calories. That adds up to 63 grams of fat. 256 grams of protein and 152 grams of carbohydrates. Now, normally when you're looking at a nutrition label, they say your typical American diet should have around 2,000 calories. Well, that is one of the biggest pieces of misinformation out there. We're all different. We all require different nutritional needs. Some of us are six foot six and weigh 400 pounds, solid muscle. Some of us are five foot two, a little guy. So both of those nutritional needs are gonna vary greatly. And I would say I'm somewhere where I fall right in the middle, or maybe a little under the middle in your average size with the stats I gave you earlier. So these calories, like I said, work really good for me. And the key here is we have lean protein sources, healthy fats, enough carbs to where you're not miserable, but not too many where you spill over. And honestly, if you were trying to get shredded in 30 days, this meal plan is top notch. Thank you guys as always for watching. Do not forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Or to jamesfitness.com if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to break down for your height, stats, weight, activity levels, all that stuff. A meal plan for you and the macros and everything you should be following. And don't forget to check out finalbossperformance.com. We're having a 4th of July sale on our Amino baby atomic bombsicle flavor incredible make sure you check that out follow me on social media all the links are in the description box i think that's it guys appreciate you guys as always and i will see y'all at the next video peace killing it we're killing it